What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG in the last part. We basically got the Croin back from Krako and Mallow joined our party. In this part we're gonna see why the hell these shy guys have gone around the Mushroom Kingdom now. Um they're shy moors, but um These are good enemies also to grind to. You can only counter them this point this exact point in the game, but um they're very good enemies to grind to, let's just say. Now, when we get to level 6, we'll look, when Mario gets to level 6, he'll learn one of the best moves he can get in the game, let's just say. One of the most overpowered moves if you use it properly. I'm not gonna go, I don't think I'm gonna get all the way to level 6, but, um... Mario gotta level up. Once again, we're gonna increase our uh, XP, but, um... Thanks, Mario. Can you stand watch? But not everyone seems suspicious. By the way, look what I found. We got received ten coins. But um, power cab and uh, ten coins. If we now this is the guy that had the wallet. Now I think these guys have a weakness to electric. Let me just double check. They don't have a weakness to electric. Now, Mallow should be close to a level up, let's just say, but, um, yeah, we're gonna give him the wallet and we get a, uh, flower tab. We have 20 flower, we have 20 flower ones, which is actually pretty good for this point in the game. Now, if we go to this house right here. Now, I want to see if I can get my, uh, it's mainly gonna make a difference with the gods when we have three party members, let's just say. Mallow got to level four. And we're gonna get it, we're gonna get his magic up. Problem with Mallow at this point in the game is that he doesn't have a weapon. He Mallow's not I lost all my gosh power, but uh we're not gonna get a Mallow's not gonna get a weapon for a while, let's just say. So like for for like the next couple parts of the game, Mallow will have to fight on arm. Thanks, Mario. Where about my son upstairs? Oops, I forgot about him. And, um, look at him. He's bouncing. What does he say? Boing, boing, boing. Now, this guy can jump. I'm scared. We fight him. I'm mainly just using Mal's attacks when I get that garage power up, but uh. Flower tab. Now, um, you're gonna grow up to be just like Mario here. Yeah! I guess the same, same thing they said at Goom. Same thing Goom Mario said in the pit in Paper Mario, which a completely different Mario RPG, but um. Alrighty, sorry for the cut footage, but I wanted to, uh, I want to get my gauge up a little bit, but, um... If you, it's, it's always fun to grind your gauge power, especially when you're using, when you're using triple moves, but, uh, the higher you can get them, let's just say, the more, like, the more, the more stats you'll, the more stat boost you'll get. We're actually almost at a level up, however, we save this and woman in, and she's saying what she said before, basically. I guess all we have to save now is the, uh, P oh, there's a hidden treasure nearby. I'm not gonna grab it. And I cut that video battle out of the video because I didn't feel it necessary, let's just say. But, um, I guess I'm, I'm not gonna cut out these two battles because, let's just say, uh, we are using these battles to save the toe at least. Um, we got our garage up to 30, so, um,. Maybe I should attack the other one, I don't know. Here we go. And fight, fight this other one. This is the point in the game, we, this is the last one in the game also we can go back in the Toad Vault and get more, get those items again. After that we can't do it anymore. We should be almost to a level up actually, it's uh, yeah, it's level 8. It's safe here, so we're gonna level up. 
We're not gonna be able to get to level six because by if we get to the level six, we'll learn one of the Mario will learn one of the best moves we can get in this game. And if we uh that vault card, I came to save him, but it runs in the next one so much for him. Never mind that, guess what I found? It's a gold coin, a gold coin, it's all mine. Oh, I found the seller, you can have it. And we get a uh a wake up pin, which um we can equip one of them with it, but um it raises our defense, so I guess we can keep. I guess we can. Mario can equip the wake up pin. However, if we were to go back here. Actually, no, wait a minute. I'm thinking of something else. But I guess we have one last thing to, to do, which uh, save this room in Peach's Castle. We do, you don't have to save these people. It's just. It's good to grind out these enemies so to get a level up because. Let's just say, even though in the original, you can um, basically ignore a lot of these fights as long as you have good equipment, you can plot the game. The problem is, this remake has a post game. And po the reason I recommend a lot, through, I recommend leveling up a lot through the portion of this normal game in the remake is because let's just say the post game is a step up in difficulty. Okay, right, so if we talk to this woman, you may not sleep in the princess's bed. Have you no manners and she just heals us. Little thing, there's a little funny thing you can do here, but uh, I, I prefer to do it later. Gain another, we're getting some more stat boosts. Um, the higher you can get your attack got, the higher you can get the chain, the uh, chain up, the let's just say the higher your attack's gonna be, or the higher your stat boost is gonna be. And I break, I break the gosh pattern. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do more off-screen stuff trying to rebuild it. It's not a big deal because we got a level of Mario. So again, we're gonna increase physical, but um, I cut this battle out of the video actually. I thought Mal was gonna need a level up, but no, one more battle gets him a level up. So um. I guess I'll level up Mallow and then I'll off screen get my uh, gauge back up. Um, one more battle and we'll, Mallow will level up, let's just say. We'll just Thunderbolt and instant kill them. I really don't have a weakness of Thunder, let's just say. So, yeah, because it's Mallow, um, let's just um, get our magic up. But, um,. That was really scary. I was hiding in the princess' bedroom. I somehow just couldn't escape in time, so I hope no one got hurt. So, I guess we can go straight to the boss. And I cut that battle straight out of the video. However, and as long as we can get to the boss. Now, if you're playing the original game, you can kind of clip through those shy guys and basically talk to the chancellor and skip the first boss. I don't think you can do it in the remake, so we're not gonna try it. That's yeah, a common skip that speedrunners use in the original. Listen up, game. These guys are gonna put themselves at a party. This how we have this? You're asking for it. Oh, you're gonna get it. Pick the wrong people not to bounce with, bub. How about? If, if, but anyway, this is uh, Clay Morton. This is this this guy was called Mac in the original game, but um, I forget what he's weak to. I think he's either weak to fire or thunder. But so I think he's weak to fire or thunder. But for safety, we're gonna try both. Not weak to fire, so he's weak to thunder. Plus, with thunder, it lets us take out those uh, shy guys. And Max stunt, Clay Morton stunned. Yeah, I, I, I'm used to calling him Mac because he was he was called Mac in the original. So um, we'll just spam Thunderbolt on him. Now Flame Wall is a new move we cannot block, unfortunately. God move this toad assist. So let's just use another Thunderbolt. We'll use a. Uh, We'll use the uh, honey server with Mario, but um, yeah, Clay Martin is not a very hard hard boss at all. He's especially easy if you're level six because you can just spam super jump with him. But we don't know that move yet. Mm -hmm. 
Should be almost down, actually. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick uh, thought peek. First of all, I'll see how much HP he has left, but I've got to see what his stats are. He's he's only weak to thunder. And actually, believe it or not, he's uh yeah he gonna skip disappear like that. I forgot I forgot he could do that to be honest. And he's down. first star piece we've gotten. This is not good. This is not good. The mustache of one is strong. Strong, yes. Must warn the boss. Come on. Chancellor, gracious. Oh, it's you, Mario. What a relief. Once again, Mario to the rescue. But who were those? Chancellor. Sure, thank goodness you're all right. Mario, so it was you that got so We owe so much to you. First, the princess, and now this. Just too much to bear. Mario, how about we ask my grandpa for help? He knows everything. Excuse me, but who are you? Oh, hello, my name is Mallow, and I'm from Temple Pond. Well, any friend of Mario welcome here in the Mushroom Kingdom. So say, Mario, we are only hope. Mario, please, you must rescue the princess now. Mario, I'm in your debt, too. Let's go over to Grandpa's place in Temple Pond. He can help. Wait, why did he even come to Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess we'll find out soon enough. Play Morton, the sword-like monster who crashed the Mushroom Kingdom, had anything to do with the... Star piece that Mario found, or heroes move out in the Kiro sewers. Anyways, so that's now is an appropriate time to cut it off as part of Sumo RPG. So next time on Sumo RPG, we're gonna go towards the Kiro. Actually, I want to do one last thing in this part. I'm gonna do one last thing. We're gonna get deliver back that coin. Use Mallow's purposes, but if we go to the item shop. Hey, Mal, what kept you? I'm starting to worry. Hey, miss, I got my coin back. Oh, well, then, here's the thing I promise you. This, make sure it doesn't get stolen or eaten right away. Grandpa needs it, okay? We got a cricket pie. You bet. Mario, thank you for so much. Grandpa would be delighted. Now we're going to cut it off for this part of Sumo RPG. So next time on Sumo RPG, we're going to go to the Kiro Sewers. See you guys then.